What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at our Peyton Manning offense. Once again, we're going to focus on one final uh, passing concept here uh, from the Manning offense. And the play that we're going to be looking or the concept is actually the shallow dig passing concept. I really like this one. Uh, I think that this is going to be a very beneficial uh, passing concept for you guys to check out. So basically, uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to pull the defense deep with a vertical pattern and basically create a stretch to allow a, a square in, or in this case, what's be called a dig pattern, to um, to come open. So a play that comes to mind when using this passing concept is something as simple as the PA dagger play from the gun die slot. And basically, what the Colts like to do is put Moreno here on a block and release pattern. And obviously against cover four, the first read is going to be a quick drag. That's very simple. Uh, we know that that's very effective. We like to have that underneath pattern at all times. And then the next read, and, and what I like to do is smart route the in route. I think it's a little deep on this play, to be honest. Um, but it is, you know, it, it's supposed to go about 10 yards and then cut him. Um, and then the deep, the deep post, I like to smart route it as well. I think it's a little bit too far, in my opinion. And basically against this, the cover four... That deep, deep post is going to come over the top, and basically they're going to the defense is going to sit on that, as you saw there. So what we have now is the the the, the um, shallow dig concept, where that deep, deep in route is going to be wide open because of the stretch of the linebackers. You see there. Okay. Now, what about a cover three situation? That was cover four. Let's take a look at cover three. There's going to be two guys in the middle of the field. Obviously, this will never work. Then we see once again those. Vertical stretches are going to allow that underneath area for Welker to come underneath it. Well, you say, well, cover three, yeah, cover three is good, but they're never going to, we're never going to get it against a cover two. I mean, there's a lot of underneath coverage. Well, when in the situation where there's cover two, you see, it's even going to be even better because that middle linebacker has to go deep, so we can just pass lead down that deep end route to Welker. And then what about uh, cover three and when they purple the outside guys? Because that's what everyone's been doing out of cover three, something like this. Well, cut passing concept's still going to work. It's going to be the same exact thing. It's just a vertical stretch. You see, the yellows cannot hang with it. Now, obviously, you need some. That's why we have the, the quick drag. Um, if there is a situation where they're sending heavy pressure, we have that just in case. Um, so, something like this. Just a makeshift cover three with purples. And. Here you go again. That crossing concept is, is because of the vertical stretches that we're creating with the patterns. And you see they can't just sit down because what's going to happen. What, what will happen if you say maybe they're going to go heavy, heavy on your little underneath pattern. They're going to take that away from you, Cody. Well, that's why we have you know our pass protection. And again, this is what happens. If they do take that away from us, then we're going to have that deep post. To, to Decker or that deep streak. Now, this is a play that is not called on this, you know, they're going to call it, they're not going to call it in like inside the 50 yard line, you know. This is one of those like deeper patterns that they're going to use. So, say that, for example, they're trying to do everything they can to stop the in route. That's their goal. They're going to drop a guy, stop the in route to Welker. Well, if they do this, this is going to leave that deep streak wide open over the top. And that's why we call it a vertical stretch because they have to go deep. If they do not go deep, we're going to be very effectively hitting them over the top. So, guys, that is the basics of the shallow dig concept. Um, now, again, remember, you can use the play action if you want to, um, and you see it still works the same way. The reason we would use the play action is basically just to hold the safety. So if, if a situation was going to come where they were playing really aggressive and, and, and maybe putting them in hug zones or something, if that situation arose, the play action will immediately hold them long enough to hit that deep streak over the top. So thank you guys so much for checking out the shallow dig passing concept. hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I hope it helps you out some. If it did not, let me know what I can do to improve these Peyton Manning videos. And we have um, two other videos left in the Manning offense. We have the basics of their running plays, and then we have one more passing concept they like to use. Thank you so much for watching the Manning offense. We'll see you guys next week with our basics of how to run the ball using Peyton Manning's uh, pass, uh, passing and running concepts. Thank you so much for your time. Please enjoy the rest of the videos we have this week.